me again, Alicia Fries, or Mrs. E, as your students call me. I'm the operations manager of a company called Open Minds Education, and I'm here to bring you another fun step-by-step -step art project that you can easily do at home. All you need for this project is a single piece of white paper, a pencil, and then either crayons, colored pencils, or markers to add some color to your project later. Okay, so let me show you what I got. We have this nice sample project that I did of this cute, sweet little mouse. Oh my gosh, he's so sweet, I just wanna pet him. And then we have this beautiful, handsome fish that I designed. He looks like such a nice, sweet guy, doesn't he? But wait, if I do this, whoa, oh my gosh, those are giant teeth. Wow, okay, whew. Well, let's see if there's something hidden with this sweet little mouse, too. What's it gonna be? <gasps> ah! He's going cheese. He wants more cheese. Whew. All right. Did I get some of you? Part of the fun of this art project is the surprise element that we have in our drawings. Um, and I think for most of you, that could have been a little bit unexpected, right? Huh, expectations. Let's talk about that for a second before we do our project. Um, if you think about it, unexpected things actually happen to us all the time. Sometimes unexpected things are really exciting, like if your parents ever surprise you with a trip to Disneyland or throw you a surprise birthday party. Those are really awesome, unexpected things. But unexpected things can happen to us that are challenging or sad or really, um, really frustrating. I think that we're actually in a very unexpected season right now where people are feeling a lot of those more negative emotions. Um, I personally didn't expect to be unable to go to my classes and see my students and see my coworkers and even not be able to see certain family members and friends. And I, I think that a lot of you are probably feeling the same way. You didn't expect to be at home rather than at school unable to see your friends or your teachers. It can be really hard. Um, change is hard, and ex especially when it's unexpected, when you didn't plan for it, when you didn't know it was coming. It can be really hard to manage and to cope with. So I just wanna challenge you that if you are feeling any of those things right now, if you're feeling frustrated or sad or disappointed with the unexpected changes that have occurred recently in your life to be sure to find someone to talk to um, about those emotions, someone safe like a parent or a sibling or a close friend. It's really important that we communicate what we're feeling with people so that they can help us find ways to manage um, our emotions, to cope with them, and then to do healthy things for ourselves that might bring us a little more joy and help us through those harder times, okay? So please be doing that right now if you're having a hard time with this unexpected season that we're all in. In the meantime, I do think that this project might bring you a little bit of joy, so I hope that you're ready to do it with me. I want you to grab your piece of white paper. If you have a big white paper, that is perfect, but even if you have a small printer size white paper, that's totally fine too. The bigger the paper, the bigger your animal can be, and the more fun it might be to design, but again, this will work perfectly well. So I'm gonna show you how to fold it and a couple tips for when you draw your animal and then it'll be all you. Okay, here we go. First, you're gonna fold your paper in half, hamburger style, okay? And then you're gonna take one of those pieces, one of those sides of the paper and you're gonna bring it down to meet that center crease that you made, all right? So I'll show you from the side. This is what it's gonna look like. Pretty simple, right? And that's actually all you need before you start sketching your animal. Couple tips for when you design your animal to make sure that you have that big open jaw space to do some giant teeth or to make a speech bubble or different fun things. All right, um, first you're gonna wanna sketch part of your animal's head above the center fold, okay? So I think I'm gonna do a rabbit because a certain holiday is coming up and I have bunnies on my mind. I'm going to do part of his head above the fold and then part of it below, okay? Now, I'm gonna design his nose. When you give your animal a nose, you really need to make sure that it goes above the fold. If not, if it's below the fold, then when you open it, your animal's nose is gonna be all the way down here on their chin, and that would look really silly, so 
Make sure that it's above the fold. I'm going to give my rabbit some eyes now, okay? And then I'm gonna make his ears. And for my animal's ears, they're gonna be a little too big for this piece of paper, so I'm gonna pretend actually like they're just popping off the page. I'll show you what that looks like in a second, okay? So here's what I've got so far. I'm gonna give my rabbit a couple whiskers. And now I need to design his lips. And this is the most important part for when you're doing the, the center part for when you're gonna add all this in between for his jaw. You need to make sure that when you design your animal's lips, that part of his lips are above the fold and part of them are below the fold, okay? So this is where his top lip goes, above the fold, right on top of it, and then his lower lip is now below the fold. So when I open it up, I have all this space to make his jaw, his open mouth, okay? Open up your paper, and the first thing you're gonna do is connect your animal's head, all right? The sides of it. Then you're gonna wanna connect your animal's jaw. Like so, all right? And now you have all this space in his open mouth to do something super silly. For my um, rabbit, I think I'm gonna give him these giant teeth. I think it's really fun to give these animals giant teeth like this. And then I think I'm gonna give him a little speech bubble in here that will say, more candy, because sometimes we get treats on holidays. I don't know if you do. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. All right, and that's it. I'm gonna close him back up. He looks like this sweet little funny rabbit, but then when I open it, boom, more candy with these giant teeth. So silly. That's all we've got for today. That's all you're gonna do to design this super silly, surprising, unexpected animal. If you wanna do an animal with a profile view, the side view, just again, remember to make a top lip that goes above the fold and then a lower lip that goes below. So you have, again, all of this space to add something in the jaw right here, okay? All right, so. You can design as many animals as you want. I think the more, the better. Please get super silly, super creative, and then once you've designed all of these animals, make sure to add some color. I'm of the opinion that color brings things to life. It just makes them even more fun. And then go around your house, show them to your family members, and bring them that unexpected surprise, something that might make them laugh or shock them a little bit into some laughter. Um, you know, we really, really need that during this time right now. So I hope that this is a fun project for you all. I hope that you enjoy it and I really appreciate your time. As always, I look forward to bringing you another video soon. Take care everyone, thanks, bye.